What's happening guys, Peter Von Pandy here. Hey, just wanna share with you what I think is the best value in watches today. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but I think today, and I wanna uh, share with you and um, wanna talk to you about this watch, which is the Glycine 10th Anniversary Limited Edition F104 uh, Automatic, beautiful, beautiful timepiece, and um, wanna kinda make a pitch to you on this. So, obviously I've had one for a number of years, you can check out my review on YouTube about it. Just a really fantastic watch and I really love it. But um, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about is this watch in particular and why I think it's such a screaming good deal. First of all, uh, it came out in 2014, which I believe was the 100th anniversary of Glycine, a great brand. And it came out at the four or five thousand dollar price range but it was definitely a limited edition and it was a true limited edition in that this was not a design that was uh, lifted from any of their other watches and you know just kind of slapped on with a limited edition number it was truly a limited edition in that it's a 48 millimeter watch a big watch certainly especially by today's standards but not a huge watch um, there is a f104 edition watch but it's different it's a different size it has slightly different look it doesn't have kind of this inner and outer chapter ring on the dial and so it's a bit of a different watch. It's a great looking watch too. But, you know, this watch at three, four, five thousand dollars or whatever it was when it was originally sold was the top of the line watch. And if you looked at the Glycine uh, catalog for that year, you know, they had, you know, the combat subs and then, you know, at the thousand dollar range and the uh, Airmen up to a couple thousand and the Airmen, you know, limited edition, which was like a three or four thousand dollar watch. And then on the very last page of that spread was this watch because it was their pinnacle achievement at the time. And it was the most expensive and had kind of the, the coolest spread. You know, these watches weren't all that popular in terms of you don't see them very much. I think I may have only one of the only reviews on this watch on YouTube. And it was just because it uh, ended up being kind of a collectible, but not really a, a wear. I do wear this watch, absolutely. And you can see that it's in, still in great shape. The It has kind of this kind of unfinished full grain leather watch band. It has kind of these double hinged lugs and then kind of this dual dial, this sunk dial type of thing with an inner and outer chapter ring and uh, kind of this vintage old school, you know, almost trench aviator style watch uh, look to it. Just beautiful. You know, the tan and the white is really kind of subtle. Now, let me talk about the value and why I think this is such a great value. Let me talk about some of the other brands out there. You can go out and get a, a Seiko G-Shock and spend a few hundred bucks. You can get into a Shinola for six, seven hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars for a quartz Shinola watch on the top end. Um, you know, and some of those aren't even limited editions; they're just production models. Let's talk about specifically on Glycine. Uh, if you want a, a storied Swiss brand like a Glycine watch like this in the combat sub in a quartz movement, you're looking at three, four hundred bucks. If you want it in an automatic, you're looking at seven, eight hundred dollars. Again, great watches and great value. I think. Step up to the Airmen. On a quartz, you're looking at a thousand dollars plus. Step up to an Airman uh, automatic, you're looking at a couple thousand dollars. Now, step up to the Airman limited edition, you're looking at like three thousand dollars, literally still today. So, that would seem to suggest to me that you get a limited edition watch like this that's uh, has a lot of that that uh, glycine history behind it in a really unique um, design that's one of 250 pieces so you're never going to see it on anyone else and it's just a watch that can be formal can be casual i mean it looks great in every occasion it's super even though it's pretty big it's really thin and so it's actually very light and very very easy to wear um, so you would think that this was still would be commanding several thousand dollars which i think it's worth every penny of that right now let me throw in one last thing that was um, interesting about this watch is that it came in a wonderful box that was kind of like vintage luggage um, but you didn't get just this watch you got something else with it too you got a second watch you got this pocket watch again same design and style it's a limited edition uh, pocket watch and not just like the thousand dollar you know quartz pocket watches that you get that are kind of retro styled this one is actually another mechanical movement a beautiful beautifully done mechanical movement um, as you can see there, you know, it's, it has the Glycine logo on it. It might be a little hard to see the way I'm shooting here, but it has the Glycine logo emblazoned all over it and um, just polished and shiny and beautiful. It says Glycine on um, the, uh, 
the wheels there and it obviously has a clear case back um, brushed stainless steel and again they are numbered with the watches so your number of 250 and it can, comes with a chain um, you know I don't use a pocket watch per se but not only do you get and 50 millimeters a pretty big pocket watch so very very um, you know a bold has a lot of presence with it but in the same exact style of the the watch itself the one kind of interesting thing about it is it has a subdial uh, at the six o'clock position so it even looks maybe even a little more elegant a little more busy um, than the watch itself but not only do you get this watch which I would argue is worth two three four thousand dollars in and of itself but you get this one which is worth another which is probably worth the same amount but it's certainly worth a thousand bucks you know I think having a pocket watch makes it a little bit tougher to um, to use as an everyday basis but it would be a beautiful beautiful thing to get a pocket watch stand and display this in your office which I might do now I'm kind of sold on it so my point is all those other brands of watches at a few hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars um, all the other glycines which start at a few hundred dollars for the very lowest end up to a few thousand dollars for the high end I think this one sits at the top and yet today today I don't know about tomorrow but today on eBay this watch with this watch in the full anniversary kit um, is listed for $4.99 as a buy it now which absolutely breaks my heart and kind of infuriates me but if you're looking for a, a good deal on um, a watch that you'll never see anyone else wearing uh, I would definitely check it out I have no idea who the seller on eBay is I have no idea what the rating is or anything like that that's gonna be totally on you but the idea that when I got this when I paid several thousand dollars for this set I was ecstatic that I got it it's just beautiful it's exceeded all of my expectations um, and so to see it for less than your Swiss Army Victorinox watch or your uh, Orient watch or all sorts of other brands which I like um, but are all five six hundred bucks the fact that this set is cheaper than that absolutely blows my mind so listen um, I already have one otherwise I'd be picking it up in a heartbeat but if you want it that's just my tip to you Peter Von Panda is just trying to help you out if you want this watch if you want this watch um, you know check out eBay I'm not gonna put a link to it because I don't um, not endorsing that seller or anything but you can just search glycine limited edition f104 whatever anniversary you know it's all gonna pull up these but uh, there aren't that many of them out there and the price point on it is just redonkulous so check it out that's the best watch deal I think I've ever seen. Peter Von Panda, out.